set to testify this Thursday. Your reaction to the news breaking tonight, Senator? You know, Chris, I think this really sent the message that this president now believes he's above the law. Uh, we haven't seen anything like this in decades, certainly not since the Saturday night massacre. And so I think people should be deeply concerned uh, about these developments. Do you believe his argument on paper that the reason he's doing this is what Comey did last summer with regard to Hillary Clinton? Do you believe that's a the reason he's firing him now? Absolutely not. I, I don't even think that's a credible argument. This is a president who was giving him a thumbs up two days into the administration, saying he had guts back in October. Uh, I, I think the only logical explanation at this point is the most obvious one, uh, that the investigation was getting a little too close to the White House. He was feeling the heat. Uh, I think it's very troubling to see that the attorney general, who has recused himself from this administration, is now directing the or, or uh, suggesting that the president fire Director Comey. So I, I think this is uh, this is not going away anytime soon. You know, he's most known for that iconic line, you're fired from the old reality TV days of uh, Apprentice on NBC, I must say. And now he's fired Sally Yates, who everyone believes is a stand-up public servant after Absolutely. yesterday's excellent testimony. And now he's fired Comey, who is a bit uh, independent and not always perfect by any means, but who has shown that he doesn't listen to political leadership, that he was willing to go after Hillary Clinton under a Democratic administration. He was able, able to basically hurt her badly 11 days before the election, which I think is very troubling. But he's also a guy who stood up to Ashcroft back in the bad old days with regard to torture. He is a man who has proved himself perhaps unevenly as an independent, someone who Donald Trump doesn't control. That's what I'm hearing tonight, that Donald Trump doesn't want anyone That's around him who might investigate him, he doesn't own. I think that's exactly right. And I haven't always agreed with Director Comey, but he's supposed to be independent if he's director of the FBI. And this sent, I think, a very chilling and intentional message to law enforcement. Uh, and I think it is a terrible precedent for the FBI and really law enforcement across this country today. How do we get out of this? Do we get an independent counsel, an independent prosecutor? How does it get done? What power do you have as a senator to get it done? I think we absolutely need an independent counsel. Uh, at some point, as this gets more and more flagrant, uh, my hope is that some of our Republican colleagues who have called for such a thing will actually join with us uh, to put into law in, an independent counsel who will uh, look at this and have the credibility to do so, to be stepped back from the politics and not under the thumb of the current uh, occupant of the White House. Well, I recommend Sally Yates. Thank you, Senator, Senator Heinrich of uh, New Mexico.